It's crazy just like seeing everything and like knowing this where it all started at. It's chill, just seeing the same places. Like when I was little and stuff. I mean, I always be in, in town, but I don't really be seeing people. I just, I just come to see my grandma and my mom. Being born and raised right here, I mean, this is a farming, working, you know, there ain't nothing here but chickens, pigs, and pig skin. And I think that's what stands out, and I think that shines through in the way he plays the game and the way he carries himself. His first year of contact football, he had uh, 16 touchdowns his first year. And then I think it was like 11 years old, he told me that he was going to Carolina, then he was going to the NFL. At 11, he told you? At 11. Javante is one of the nicest, toughest, most passionate and dedicated young people I've coached in my 40 something years of coaching. Wallace, North Carolina, my grandma's house. Um, this is where I lived at when I was growing up. This is where I still keep my horses at. I got them from West Virginia, but they delivered it when I was in rookie minicamp. So I ain't never really get to ride them till I came back. But he only, he only four years old though. Like everybody around here really got horses, so we all just like link up and just ride ride on trails and stuff. Oh, I definitely need one that's calm. Like when we first got him, he kept breaking up. Cause he used to be a racehorse. Yeah. Yeah, my granddad used to teach me. He wasn't never really in the horses, but he knew a lot about him. It's really just like a dog. Just something to do in the free time. Something to talk to. I don't really get to see him much though. I be in Colorado. I'm gonna try to get him out there though. I, de I definitely think it's the difference between being from the country and being from the city though. It's just more calm, everything just chill out here. Ain't a lot going on. Everybody just be minding their business. Thank you so much. Bring back memories. <laughs> Big guy, you doing all right? Yes, sir. Good to see you. He's got great character. He's a he's an awesome dude. I love him. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm a big fan now of Denver because of you. Just being here, being around everybody, it was a good feeling. Just seeing like old faces in the high school and stuff. People in the community, everybody. Cause like all this used to be packed, like everything. <laughs> special kid. Um, as soon as I got here and got to talk to him, he's different. And that's a good thing. I mean, he's the complete package, just character. He's the kind of guy you want dating your daughter. Um, he's the guy that you want to be around. And just a high character kid. What's Friday night like around here? Crazy. Cause like, this is all we really got. Like, it ain't no big city. So when we, um, like we have a big game or something, like everybody definitely gonna come. <laughs> For uh, my first three years, I played linebacker. Then my senior year, when we got Coach Mike, that's when I moved to running back. I remember the conversations me and him had, and you know, when I told him he was going to mainly play offense, he was a little disappointed, and, and I wouldn't say what was upset or angry, but I mean, you know, he'd been a linebacker his whole life. And whatever I got to do to help the team win, I'm gonna do that. Like, so when I switch, I just that's just another job I got to do. So I just had to do that. I asked him how many offers he had. And he didn't have any. And so for me, his way to go somewhere was at running back. At first, you know, she was trying to get me to play, like, be a walk on. But I wasn't trying to do that. Like, I was, I feel like I was not trying to be cocky now, but I feel like I was too good to be a walk on. It was pretty stressful because he had got to the point he was getting discouraged and don't nobody want me to play, so I just go to school to go to school. I mean, I was just gonna just go to school. And what were you gonna do? Um, I really wanted to be a doctor, but I took my first biology class. I was like, nah, I, can't. <laughs> I said, nah, a doctor might not be for me. But. State championships at Carolina. And so the head man's up there, the man that's gotta pull the trigger. And, you know, first play of the game was Javante Williams do. 
we hand him the ball and he took it to the house on the very first play and then they got to see that the head coach got to see that. From the story I was told is Coach Fedora was sitting in his office watching the state championship game. He had lost a great back uh, that he was recruiting and he said, gosh, that one looks pretty good. Let's bring him in. Uh, and Javante had like one offer or something and, and then the rest is history. I think I had like three touchdowns, like 200 some yards. After the game, everybody was getting dressed and um, Coach Fedora had came in. He was like, we want you to stay tonight. I was like, I don't even got no clothes. Like, I just thought I was coming to play the game and going home. But he was like, nah, we got everything taken care of. Um, so I stayed there that night. That was a Friday night. Stayed there Saturday, stayed there Sunday. I committed on Sunday, actually. Did they have to convince you or anything? Or? As soon as she said, you want to be a Tar Heel, I said, come on, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs>I got to UNC, I ain't know nothing about like pass protection, none of that. So my freshman year, I'm trying to learn all that, I'm trying to balance school. It's my first time being away from home, all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it was kind of rough at first, but once I got in the groove, met my like friends that I had on the team, everything started to slow down. Well, I was up there every day I had off. I spent in the Chapel Hill with him until he adapted to it. And then I would just go up on Wednesdays and keep his hair cut. My favorite day of the week, just to get up there and spend time with him. Because when we left, I looked at him and I knew he didn't want to be away from home. So every chance we got, we went up spent with him. Yeah, my freshman year, I came back every weekend. Like, my mama drive from here all the way to Chapel Hill, like, just to pick me up, and then she'd drive back home. But um, as I got older, like, I stopped coming more. But my dad, he still came every Wednesday to cut my hair, though. He was always that humble kid, no spotlight or nothing. So he uh, just kept that all the way through. Carolina will run it with Williams. He's just an absolute dream. He's a uh, valedictorian of his high school. He uh, was not highly recruited, and you'd never know it. He never talks about it. Didn't get mad at coaches for not recruiting him. Uh, he came to work every day. He worked really, really hard every day. He was a silent leader because he's not going to speak unless you ask him something. He'll, he will tell you. Um, he's got wonderful family, and he loves football. He's racing, 40-yard line, stiff arm, and he rides his man up to midfield, Javante Williams. I do remember there's a moment that Sparky Woods, one of our assistants, and I were standing on the sideline, and Javante ran over about four of them, and I, I looked at him and said, well, he's gone. That, that's, uh, that's the NFL run right there. I'd probably say my junior year of college, probably like once we played like NC State, my name started popping up on like Twitter and Instagram I and mean, like all the rankings and stuff. I was like, I really might have a chance. But back then, I thought I was gonna go like fifth or sixth round, just cause I ain't really had a buzz and all that. But um, as the games kept going and like pre-draft training and all that pro day, like they seen me in person, I started shooting up the little draft jump. So. Javante, what's up, coach? How you doing? This is George Payton, GM with the Broncos. I'm doing pretty good. Did you hear the applause in the background? I could. That means everyone's excited to get you, okay? You're, you're one of our favorite players in the draft, and we got you, buddy. Once they traded up, I was like, dang, they really want me, though. That's crazy. When I seen the Denver, Colorado number pop up, I was like, oh, this must be another team. They must have just got somebody from Denver, like, to call me. But when I seen it, like, that joint was crazy. Everybody, my mom, my dad crying. Everybody crying. I'm happy. I probably cried more than he did. How come? Huh? Because I know that he's pretty much fulfilling what he said he's doing. The Denver Broncos select Javante Williams, running back, North Carolina. Are you proud of him? Definitely. That's an understatement. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. And Williams, nice second effort, still going. Javante Williams carrying defenders. I didn't really expect to have the season that I did, but um, yeah, I'm... I'm Pleased with myself for right now, but I know I still got a whole lot of work to do. Get it to Williams. Left side. Still going. He's got a first down. He's still on his feet. When you were out here, what were your what were your dreams? What were you thinking? Definitely NFL, but like only like one or two people from here made it. So I mean, I ain't think it was really gonna happen.